eight ounce burger. Not a little burger, a big burger. And these are classic burgers from Kansas City Steak Company, which means you can dress them up any way you like. That's what makes this great. And that's what makes this the perfect choice for summer barbecue. Now, you can have yours a little more rare like these. You can cook them a little, a little more well done, however you like them. The most important thing is get your burgers while the getting is good. These are individually wrapped and packaged. They're so big. And it's also available on auto delivery. We're going to ship these every 90 days for one year. Really, really impressive burger. Chef Ralph Pallarino is joining us. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Hey, everybody. How are you? Nice good. to have you back. Yeah. And this is something very special. Summer barbecue season will be here before we know it. I know, yeah. And, and I love that we're doing it earlier in the year, right? Because yep. a lot of times we'll wait, right? Yes. Why wait on these? And let's just go and I want to show everyone why this burger is so special, okay? Now, what you're going to see is flavor pockets, right? It's very important because, first of all, this is a steak burger, David. There's prime rib in here, mm. sirloin, New York strip, all your favorite cuts. And then you'll notice something, right? This is a very gently pressed burger, right? So you see all those flavor pockets? This is that burger that literally just falls apart in your mouth because of that state-of-the-art technology that just gently presses it, just like a baby, right? Because you want this to be tender. And again, with those steak trimmings, you get the marbling. You can't dry this out, even at medium well. Well, they're remarkable. And I will tell you, every summer when I grill up my Kansas City burgers, they're juicy, they're terrific. Yeah. They take cheese and big Vidalia onion slices mm -hmm. oh. and beefsteak tomato and... Good golly, which way do I steer? <laughs> this is what it's all about. And don't miss, these are so big they have to be individually packaged. Yeah, just like that. I mean, hold it, hold it there by the profile so okay. we can see how thick this is oh. right here. Look at that. That's eight ounces. Do you, did you ever, like, in your kitchen try to form an eight ounce burger and it, like, oh, you could, you could try. <laughs> you could try. <laughs> but you probably didn't have enough ground beef. That's right. Pull yeah. it off. Yeah. This, and this is not just, this is not just ground beef. This is ground steak. That's right. Yeah. They take all the trimmings from all their steaks and grind it up to make burgers. So these are super juicy and super flavorful. Yeah. And you get the richness of all the marbling. You know, we always talk about what makes a great steak, and that's the marbling, right? So when you grind up all those wonderful cuts of meat, you you get what's called a flavor profile. It's almost like a recipe, David. So when you're making a good burger, it's all about just enough fat and then just the right cuts of meat, and then you round it out with a little bit of chuck because that's where all the flavor is on the cattle. And what you get is an eight ounce gourmet steak burger that we won an award, I think it's three years in a row now. Well, you, uh, well, I, I'm told last year you tied for best burger. Yes, tied for best burger, yeah. In 2022, which is awesome, and customers chose that. That's not right. us here at QBC and not the folks at Kansas City, all of you at home. That's right. Now, I can tell you, if you want the eight ounce, or excuse me, the eight burgers, uh, we have 2,500. If you want the 16 burgers, only 1,100. Are these tasters for me? Those are tasters. I did a little ketchup, a little mustard on there. I, I love the mustard. Mmm. Mmm. Right? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Like, what, what's going on inside the mouth? I need well, to know. Well, first of all, yep. super juicy. Okay. Very, very tender. Melts on your tongue. Right. But the flavor is so great because the texture is loose. Mm -hmm. It's not a tight, chewy burger. That's right, yeah. It's a burger that falls apart on your tongue, and it's also got great flavor because of all those cuts of steak. Yeah, and, and you nailed it. And I love the fact that at eight ounces and with the richness, it could stand up with all the other ingredients that you put on it, whether it be blue cheese, barbecue, so in this case, bacon, a little tomato. Let's just finish it off a little bit of ketchup, right? Are you a ketchup and mustard guy or just ketchup? Um, you know what? I do um, no added sugar ketchup now. Oh, okay. I like that. Which you can buy in the supermarket, and um, that's fine. And then I'm a big mustard person. I love mustard. I love mustard. You know what's also great on uh, burgers is if you ever want to do a guacamole burger. Oh, yeah. Those are really fantastic. Put a great big spoonful of guac on there. Mmm. Just hang over, over your plate because it's going to be messy. Now, this is that kind of burger that you get at the steakhouse, David, where they kind of go like this mm -hmm. and put that knife. I don't know if you can, a little oh, wider yeah. sure, shot. Oh, sure, sure, sure. That's that burger, right? Because eight ounces, that is a meal. Look at that. Look at that. Right? So you can do this at your house. Have fun. And you know what? I, was, I always think about this is, you know, feeding someone a steak burger at your party or at your house, it makes them feel warm. It makes them feel special that it's not just a frozen burger that you got at the grocery store because you can't get these at the grocery store. So I feel like people feel really special when you give them a steak burger. Yeah, this is something right. really, really lovely. And you can load it up with cheese, your favorite onions, whatever you've got, mm -hmm. and this is perfect. Now, if you want eight burgers, I only have 2,300. If you want 16 burgers, 
950 of these left to go around. These are going very quickly. And remember, there's also auto delivery, delivering every 90 days for one year. So now is the time for you to lock in your burger purchase. And these will last in our freezers how long, Chef? 12 right? months. 12 yeah. months. And you could cook from frozen. So let's talk about how do you cook these? What's the best way to cook them, right? Okay. As we get hungry and look at this burger here. So from frozen, you saw the individually packed. Now, again, this is, now we let these sit just like a good steak. You let them kind of rest. And as we rest, they still stay super juicy. Mm. But that's a, in my opinion, that's a perfect medium. So from frozen, you're going to put these either on your grill. Mm. Or I like putting them in a cast iron pan, David, because mm. here's what you're going to get. It's actually going to bathe in its own juices. You so don't good. need any cooking oil or anything because as they cook, all that marbling just bathes in it. And look here. You get a how to cook the steak burger, a little about your steak burger. It's very personal, right? Yep. And that's important. Look at that right there. On the grill, grilling, grilling machine. machine, broiling, pan frying. I would imagine you could, you could also put these in the air fryer. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The air fryer. So that is works brilliant. out nicely. Now, if you um, uh, now this does not come with any seasoning, correct? No, not this one. No. And so, just pick out your favorite seasoning. Maybe a little salt, pepper, garlic powder, whatever you love. I like pepper. Oh, pepper. Just pepper. Good. Just pepper. Pepper and meat. You know, I, I love salt too, but I think pepper. <laughs> right? I think I feel like because the meat is already kind of seasoned because of that right. Midwestern corned beef. And I, I feel like the pepper just makes that meat pop, and it gives you a steaky feel. And when you bit into one of these, David, you said something interesting. It, it just kind of crumbled, right? Yeah, it's, it's it not a tightly dense. round no. or bound burger. Right. This is really remarkable. Don't miss out on these. If you're looking for a burger that is thick enough to be just one patty on the bun, this is the burger you're looking for. Now, doesn't mean you can't put two. Because <laughs> if you're going to do two, you need to invite Ralph and I over. That's right. But this is what's really remarkable because these are big and bold. Each one is eight ounces. That's a half pound burger. Yeah, that's a big boy. That's a big, big burger. And what I like, it, it gives you that steakhouse feel because when you go to one of those fancy steakhouses and you see this on the lunch menu, on the dinner menu, this is that burger. Chefs come to us because they love our, I call it recipe, our blend of all those wonderful meats and then just enough fat because a burger with too much fat it's sickening right it's a little well, bit it's, overwhelming. It's, it's greasy right? right and then you end up you know ingesting all this grease and this fat and you're like mm, yeah it's got a lot of flavor but at what cost right that's right this is uh, going to be great because you've got a beautiful balance with this burger yeah you you nailed it again it's all about the blend and, and, and again chefs come to us for our burgers to their specs I'm gonna go in oh, here good, and grab this oh one. good I drive it I'm going to grab this one and I'm I'll just, cut it. Oh, well, I, I was like? going to use my fork because oh, it's that tender. That's, that's right. <laughs> Look at this. I love I'm just it. using a fork here. Right. And it doesn't need a bun. Eat, treat this like a steak. Eat this mm. like a steak. Mm. Right? So good. Yeah. When you close your eyes, you kind of you, you almost taste the prime rib, the sirloin, the New York strip. The filet mignon. The filet mignon is in these burgers. Um, and again, this is a coarsely ground burger, like I said. So what happens is it just falls apart, it just crumbles in your mouth. And you get the richness of, I think it's a it's a gourmet burger that you can't get at the grocery store. So that's why it's special. Mm. You're going to choose eight or sixteen burgers. These are all going to be delivered immediately. Auto delivery is really great because it delivers every ninety days for one year. Chef Ralph Palarino, sir, pleasure to have you back. Thanks, guys. Thank you, buddy.